Welcome back, everybody, to PyBytes YouTube. Bob Bell was here, and uh, today, video on setting up Tux uh, for your project. Uh, before we start, quick shout out um, the platform, the exercises. We're upgrading those from 3.8 to 3.10. Use AWS Lambda. Ideally, we would have 3.11, but um, the 3.10 version, Python version, was just uh, deployed or rolled out by Amazon. So we're updating exercises. So uh, that's pretty cool. So you can uh, start using some more modern language features in the bytes soon. All right, let's uh, dive in. I got a demo folder here. Uh, let's make a little project structure. I have a script for that, which I will paste in the uh, description below. And I can actually also show it. This very simply just makes two directories, right? So the, the package directory, which comes from the command line, and the test directory. So I'm ending up here with a hello package and a test package, right? Uh, let's make a virtual environment. Pip install talks. Write some code. And it's really triv trivial what we're going to do. Basically emulating a built-in, but that's fine. And notice that I used the list built-in, uh, which works with 3.9, won't work with 3.8. And that's the whole point of Tux. I forgot to introduce that. We use Tux to automate testing. And the beauty of it is that it can effortlessly test various versions. I will see that in a bit. Right, so um, some numbers is the function, takes a um, list of numbers, integers, returns an integer, and just calls a building, right? Just to have something to run. And we also write the test for it. Should, of course, test it with more combinations, but just to have one test going. All right, let's see if that works. And it works. Right, so I can also run the test with Tox. Um, it warns me that I don't have a configuration file, so let's uh, do that first. And I quickly asked uh, ChatGPT and came up with this um, example, which is quite nice. Uh, let's also test 10 and 311. And the package is hello. And the rest is fine. And now I should be able to run it. So it's going to make um, virtual environment per Python version. I assume you need to have the Python versions on your system, um, which I have. And it's now running the test against the four versions I specified. Uh, it might be a bit slower at the first go because it makes that virtual environment. And here, yeah, we see effectively that 3.8 filled and 3, 9, 10, 11 were okay. And that's because of that type int. So if I make that backwards compatible, then it should work. So that's pretty cool, right? This saves a lot of time. Uh, you have a matrix of um, options you can test. Uh, there's a lot more to the tool, of course. This is just uh, uh, scratching the, uh, the tip of the iceberg. But I did use it in our PyBytes search uh, project. And um, if you want to look at another example, you can just go to the Tox any here. And here we test 3.9, 3.10, 3.11. We also pass through arguments uh, with the pos arcs. And we have also a coverage and a linting job here. Uh, but yeah, essentially, this is all you have to do. 
and uh, it's pretty cool. So if I check out this repo, make a virtual environment, and follow the instructions here on their developer setup instructions. Although I think this is more to work with the project, Tox should install the dependencies in an isolated, in isolated virtual environments anyway. Um, so it should have been enough to, but yeah, I need Tox to be installed and that's happening in this step, so. So it's going to run 3.9, 3.10 and 3.11. going to it's a bit slower because it's installing the project dependencies as well three nine passes Ten as well, three eleven as well. So that's it. Um, a small example of Tux and a real world one in one video. I uh, hope it's useful to get started with Tux in your own projects. And tomorrow I'll have a new, brand new, other Python topic video ready for you. See you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.